Welcome back to Carla Astrology. Thank you very much for joining me today. Let me adjust this a little bit. Um, I would like to do the um, the pairing of the um, Oracle and the um, Tarot that I have seen on Nova Tarot, I believe. is. I will leave, um, I'm not sure if I'm saying the channel name right, but I've seen it on Farah's. I've seen it on highly sensitive uh, tarot. So I will leave um, links in the description to the uh, above named or to the, the people I just named. So this is my um, spirit allies oracle. That's this that um, I was kind of thinking of color match. And this one is very bold. So it's not um, uh it's just very simple, but these cards, I just love the, um, the meanings that are with, with the book. So I've already shuffled, I'll give it a quick shuffle. Um, so let's, let's do that real quick. Let's put this one in the middle. Um, and we'll start with this one. Okay. And then this is my wizard tarot by Barbara Moore. So, and I love the dragon on the backs of these. So this one I've also already shuffled. I'll try to do this fairly quick. Um, let's do this and then split it in half. And let's see, we'll put that on that side like that. And this one here like that. Not quite even, but I'm only going to do... A few. Okay, so um so here we have the two of pentacles, the six of wands, and then Leo in the middle. So let's see. That's fifty-three in the book. And fifty-three. Oh, it's actually I thought it was the page, but it's not the page. It's the <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that's strength, but it says, I create the life I want to live. So here's showing, you know, the choice. And then the Six of Wands is maybe like a, a temporary um, celebration of sorts. So, um, and then... I create the life I want to live. Bold, vibrant, and fearless. Leo stands tall and proud in their light. They've worked so hard to get to this moment and knew that they could do it. So after all, Leo was in their Leo is their number one fan. So yeah, so this is like, you know, keep trying and use the, you know, your your strength. Make the choice, move forward. But be be real about it. Be um, forceful about it. Take take control. So, but you know, first you got to make the choice. So, I like that. Okay, so let's move these aside. And then, ooh, the High Priestess in Virgo. Oh, hello, King of Wands. Dang. Yeah. So this this is very. Um, I think I don't really need to look up Virgo, but I will. I'm pretty sure that's about the. You know, the nurturing maiden. Um, Virgo is concentrated and working hard. And they know that there's a lot to be done. So they work diligently with with great care. If there's one thing that is true for Virgo, it's that they know how to stay focused on the right path. So this being a very intuitive, trusting her intuition and being very bold about it. Um, you know, with lots of passion because Virgo can tend to be a very um, ritualistic, let's, let's perfection, let's do the same thing every day. But yet, so this is saying, to, you know, step a little bit out of your comfort zone, you know, um, and, and let, let's proceed here with some passion, you know, and, and be the, the priestess that you are. So, um, next... We have strength, Libra. I must have not shuffled these very good. 
I sure thought I did, but I guess I didn't. But either way, I mean, it's actually pretty cool. We got Strength, Libra, and the Moon. So, I mean, isn't it? Look, look at that. There's no um, lion on there, but there's a dragon. I do like that. I like. So, um, you know, we know what strength is. That's your, uh, that's your inner strength. That's your outer strength. That's a little very. And so, like Libra is probably about using good judgment. So, sitting at the crossroads, Libra wa Libra weighs their options diligently. They are. In no rush. They understand the beauty that could come from going both ways. Harmony is the key here. Ooh. And Libra works to ensure that they make decisions that tip the scales in their favor. So, and then you have the moon. So, um, internal strength. This is all about internal strength and harmony with yourself. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, let's do one more with uh, this pairing and ooh, moonstone the magician and the page of cups so we know that well let's look up moonstone so that's let's see 18 okay so moonstone is a white and black stone that glistens with a beautiful blue, almost opalescent in nature. The stunning stone is calming and acts as a channel for divine feminine energy. So like a lighthouse leading to a boat, leading a boat solely to shore, moonstone glimmers and lights the way to your newest adventure. And so here we kind of have the beginning of, um, so, you know, um, uh, something's taking form, you know, and this is kind of guiding us. And then the page of cups is maybe trying to warn us to, um, be careful, you know, because you could get a little bit carried away. Um, you know, uh, you know, like your feelings could kind of get in the way of, you know, what you're, what you're attempting here. So let this moonstone guide you. Um, you're growing into the person you're meant to be, and it's a beautiful sight to see. Take a moment to honor yourself and all that you've witnessed thus far. This I'm still reading about the moonstone. While the process is not complete yet, the, pro the progress that you have made has prepared you for what's to come next. Take a deep breath and let that moonstone fill you with relief and ease. Oh, so like take the stress out of it. So, you know, commit Commit to the cause. Commit to what you got going on. Don't worry about it. And try not to be so um, emotional about it. Like, it's going to happen naturally. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. So, now, let's, uh, let's put this. I'll try to do this fairly quickly so I don't have to do much editing. <laughs> All right. Let's set that aside. Um, next I want to pair up, I thought these kind of went well together. Um, that is my, uh, smoke, ash, and embers. These are the backs. Um, I'll do a real quick shuffle. As, uh, we're just gonna, you know, I don't want to get too in crazy with this. Okay, so here, let's put that right there. And then, um, this is one that I haven't worked with. This was gifted to me in the very beginning of my journey. Um, it's called the Magical, Magical Times Empowerment, um, Oracle. These are the backs. Okay, so let's split these up. Oh, look at that. I, yeah, no, I know I didn't shuffle these probably very well, but we, let's... A little closer, see in here. <laughs> Don't get seasick watching. Do a quick shuffle. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, 
we've got the lovers and the devil, and then we have laugh at yourself, lighten your heart, let nothing steal your happiness. So this is almost like, you know, whatever relationship it is, it's like, don't take the things that they're saying too personal, you know, um, you know, like, uh, let's, let's, let's not put a lot of stress on ourselves. Maybe it's the beginning of a new relationship and, or maybe it's somebody you're tempted by and, you know, um, it's like, you know what, let's, let's not get real serious at, at this point. Let's, um, let's not, um, overthink it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Okay. Next, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands. Ooh, okay. So, um, banish the fog of illusion. So this is clarity. Open your eyes to the truth and remember the perfection of who you are. So, um, there's a little bit of conflict. You know, you're, you're, um... Maybe you're in the same spot you were a year ago and you got some conflict going on. And so you need to do a grounding um, and and banish banish any illusion. Open your eyes and, and ground and, and begin again. You know, don't let whatever's going on uh, uh, keep you in this place. So, yeah, I kind of like that. All right. Um, yeah. See how good my shuffling was? Not. <laughs> um, so now we have the Hermit and the Hierophant. Goodness gracious. Um, and then adversity. So see the gifts and challenge. One can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learned from the storm. So, you know, something something happened and you're you're taking some solace in yourself, but yet you're learning from that lesson and um, you're like reevaluating and, and listening to the um, your spiritual self. So you're not just like retreating from something that happened. You're actually taking some time to yourself and looking inner at your, you know, at your inner self and maybe, maybe listening to some self, some self-help stuff. Okay, so that, I think the bills go great. Okay, so one last pairing. Let's put these aside. One last pairing is going to be, oops, there you go, making me sick, seasick again. Um, I just think this is a no-brainer. Um, my light sears. So let's... Get my light sears out. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do a real quick shuffle because I'm pretty sure I've had these out for the brunch. <laughs> you know, always. This is my go to. Light sears is my go to. Okay, um, all right, real quick shuffle. We don't want to get crazy with this, so we got all right. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, and this is a no-brainer. This was actually a gift a couple years ago at Christmas time. But um, hello, they they do go together. <laughs> the Sacred Creators Oracle by Chris Ann, none other. And check that out. Yeah, you know these go together. So let's do a quick shuffle. And um, let's see. I'm not gonna go real majorly into the um shuffle all right okay um, okay 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 so here we have the seven of swords oh, the celebrate your wins so it's like you know um don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. And then right here, you know, celebrate where you are. Celebrate right where you are now. Don't overthink it. Don't stress out because there's a happy ending. 
there's a happy ending. It's it's don't overcomplicate it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Okay, so um here's that. Okay. Um nine of pentacles and two of cups. Um so and fill your cup with sacred giggles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, the Two of Cups is definitely the romance. And then Nine of Pentacles is um, like being thankful for, for what you have. Um, you know, and, and it, it's good. Um, you know, like relish the things that you have. So... And you're already, so it's like being, being grateful for this relationship and, and reveling in everything that it has to, to offer. And, um, that's like, it's like saying you're in a really good place with your significant other or, you know, um, whatever it is, that's making you extremely, uh, fulfilled. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is the sisterhood card right there. So get back to elemental and then the fool. Ooh, wee. Okay. So, I mean, this is the journey right here. And this is like the people with you on your journey and getting back to the elemental. Um, I wonder what the, let's look, let's look in the book and see what that says. That's 48. Um, uh, get back to the elemental. The essential meaning is a time to bring some elemental magic into your life. Um, getting outside, doing something witchy or wild, letting go of who you believe you have to be and stepping into your elemental self. So, here we go. This that kind of all goes together, but here you have the fool. So there could be a self care message. So that's also in here. It says breaking free of pragmatism and logic, a time to explore the world with childlike curiosity, getting past the fear of change and the fear of trying new things. So be open to what, what your sisters or your friends have to offer and look at it with new eyes. Like, Look at it with um, all the possibilities and the magic that is involved in that. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the magic. Oh, I love that. Okay, um, one more and then that'll be it. And um, this was fun. <laughs> so let's see. Um, okay, so three of swords. We know that's heartache in the chariot is moving forward and cut the cords of doubt oh hello hello these definitely go together i think you know because this happens and then we have to cut the cord and then we have to move forward i think that's pretty self-explanatory without looking anything up so yeah all right i hope you enjoyed this as much as i uh enjoyed pairing these and um this is kind of my go-to right here so um all right. Uh, I love you guys and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.